This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by CFU, the power of service. More with UNI at football coach Mark Farley. Coach, uh, that season opener at Montana. The UNI defense went out and locked down Montana in that second half. Shut them out in the second half to give your Panthers an opportunity to come back and, and win. Do you like either the adjustments or the different attitude they came out with in that second half? We played much better in the second half, but again, it was a little bit of adjusting what they did. Came back in the second half and started playing a lot better football the way we understand how to play football. But again, we've got a uh, you know, our, it was a group coming together. We had secondary guys. That's the first time they played with the linebackers that we're playing with and a couple new guys in the front. So a little bit of a communication uh, phase that we went through in the first half, but then we settled in and played very good ball in the second half. Your two top tacklers out of that linebacker core. Duncan Furch leading the way as an upperclassman now at that middle linebacker spot. He's going to have to be the guy this year defensively. Well, Duncan, Duncan is one of those guys that makes the communication, does a lot of the stuff in the front that Jared did last year. You always need that person. Somebody's got to take that role. And the experience and all the playing time that Duncan has had really helped him uh, in that first football game. Uh, the secondary allowed 270 yards passing in that game against Montana. Any changes or tweaks you make uh, to the secondary, either in that second half or as you move forward? No, we probably learned more about our secondary that day than we did anything else. And I think that was, I think I don't know that that was a surprise. I'd mentioned that many times that I have to see them play, get them underneath the lights, see what they do. And this one will even be a bigger test. But through these first two games, I think we'll really have a great understanding of our secondary for the remaining of the season of how to play them to their strength. Because this this is much different than the first week. Last week was really good receivers. This week it's just, you better be a great tackler, but the play action and the tight ends that they have will cause a lot of problems. And you always talk about it starting up front too. We've got a story coming up on you and I, uh, senior defensive lineman Bryce Douglas. Uh, him, Ricky Neal, really uh, the two go-to guys that make that defensive line go. Well, it's, and that's the other thing, you know, you mentioned those two players, but really to make a, a defensive line go, you gotta have a great secondary, but also you need to have four guys so you don't get the, the slide protections and the, and, the, and the double teams and things like that. So you need balance out there. You need the other ones to step to the forefront too. Bryce has been now with us. He got a six year back, so he gives us something, you know, just because of experience that helps. And a game like this isn't out of the norm for him. He's been in big games. All right. 